Kids love to play outdoors even when the mercury drops and the snowflakes, they are flying. Yes, indeed. Whether it's sledding, skiing or snowboarding, a, a basic winter weather safety plan can keep kids on the slopes and out of the doctor's office. Alicia Smith went to the experts to get some advice for you and your family. Helmets, they're a mask for skiers and snowboarders, but Dr. Richard So from the Cleveland Clinic Children's Hospital says helmets are also a great idea for small children when they're sledding. If your child can't ride a bike proficiently on two wheels, all right, then if they're sledding, you, you should probably put your child in a helmet, you know, because they're not gonna be able to steer the sled. The smaller the child, the more likely they're gonna crash, or if they're walking around on a sleddy, icy area, they're gonna fall down and hit their head. Dr. So says it's a good idea for parents to inspect the bottom of the sledding hill to make sure there isn't anything for a child to crash into, like rocks, trees, stumps, or poles. Frostbite is another concern when playing outdoors in the winter. When a child's gloves get wet, it increases their chance of developing frostbite. Dr. So recommends parents carry one extra pair of gloves per child so they can change wet gloves as necessary. He also suggests checking a child's fingertips every 20 minutes to make sure their hands aren't developing early signs of frostbite. If their fingertips feel too cold while you, in your hand, it's time to go inside. You know, if they're black and blue or they're numb, you're way behind. If frost nip or frostbite is suspected, many people might think, hey, just put your hands under really hot water. No that could burn the skin. Instead, Dr. So recommends you submerge the hands in warm, tepid water. Areas that are extremely painful or may have blisters or skin discoloration should be evaluated in your local emergency department. In Southfield, Alicia Smith, 7 Action News.